Good morning on this Tuesday. Great to see you. Uh, last day, well, last day, so to speak, on irregular verbs here. This kind of, uh, these weird verbs that don't follow any rules. Uh, we are going to be tested on it next week, which is why we're going through it to really nail it down. But uh, at any rate, the thing to remember is, oh man, look here. Here's the present tense. Today I eat. Yesterday I ate. Now they have eaten, right? They have eaten. There's all these different endings to verbs that can be tough. And when it's not just ending in ed, like regular verbs, that can be what makes it difficult. Especially when you have over a hundred irregular ones. Uh, but here again, these charts, in my opinion, just help out so greatly. Um, you've already probably learned a lot of them. Like we said, a bunch. You, you probably already knew a lot of them and, and are learning new ones. Like, uh, you know, like today I give, yesterday I gave, they have given to charity, whatever it may be. Uh, some of these we use more than others. Some of these we hardly use at all. But what can be most challenging is that uh, this, sometimes it stays exactly the same even though it had, has, have, or have. Sometimes it goes back to the present tense. But remember, this is still past. We just call it past participle if it has a has or have in front of it. And sometimes it just completely changes like this one here, eat, ate, eat, have, eaten. Uh, so that's what can be a little challenging, again, through repetition, and when we've been going on through this the last five school days, uh, we're getting more and more used to this and stuff, so it helps us on the assignment. Um, but sometimes you can just do it in a sentence. Today I go to the store. Yesterday I went to the, score, to the store. They have gone to the store, right? Completely changes throughout. Um, same with this. Again, remember, anytime you see past participle, that just kind of means it's understood as has, have, or had in front of it. I break uh, the glass. They broke the glass. She has broken the glass, right? Uh, that all helps with the, the assignment. Again, the charts help greatly. Pages one, uh, 116 and 117, pages 118 and 119 really, really help. But uh, you just got to really make sure you look and say, okay, is there a has? have or had in front that's looking at this chart if there's no has have or had in front then you look here but what you got to do is this is all present tense in here uh that's great but we need the past tense written here you're not going to have any ed words guys but they're still all past tense or past with has have or had big fancy pants english term is past participle right here again they they did they did four of them wrong four of them they did incorrectly you need to find them, and then you need to uh, cross them out and write the correct ones up there, right? Um, so that that's your assignment today, guys. So we're going to get on to contractions tomorrow. I do want to wish you guys Lord's blessings, days of praise you saved.